what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel? And if the righteous scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? Verse 17 says again, For the time is come that judgment must begin at the house of God. What time are we living in? Hebrews chapter 9 and verse 24. Hebrews 9 and verse 24 says, For Christ is not entered into holy places made with hands, which are the figures of the truth, but into heaven itself, now to appear in the presence of God for us. Friends, we are living in the judgment hour. Judgment is taking place right now as you and I move about here on earth and do our own business. When you study the whole sanctuary doctrine, when you read Exodus chapter 25 and the book of Leviticus, Exodus 25 and verse 8, God told Moses, And let them build me a sanctuary that I may dwell among them. This sanctuary was made in holy days from of the pattern there is a sanctuary in heaven. And so, back in those days when one sinned, you would have to confess your sins by placing your hand on the head of a lamb. And you, the sinner, have to cut the throat. The priest will catch the blood and then sprinkle it on the veil within the holy place in the sanctuary or tip a little on the four corners of the altar of incense. This was done twice daily, but on the day of atonement, one sacrifice would be offered for all the people and then the sanctuary itself would have been cleansed of the sin that was transferred there. So one sin was transferred from the sinner to the lamb, to the blood, then to the sanctuary. And so the sanctuary needed to be cleansed of the sin that was sprinkled, the blood which would represent the life of the animal, which is, was sprinkled on the veil. On the day of atonement, when the sacrifices were, the sacrifice was offered, the veil would automatically become clean. That means the sanctuary was actually cleansed of the sin. So today, as the text says in Hebrews 9 verse 24, that Jesus is now in heaven in the presence of God for us. We are living in judgment hour. So the sanctuary in heaven is being cleansed of the sin now. Those sacrifices that were offered were pointing to the day when Jesus would have come and died on Calvary for us. So when Jesus died, we are not in need of we no longer are in need of offering lambs but we can go directly to God through prayer on our knees and get forgiveness of sin so what we should be doing now is to send our sins on beforehand by confessing and forsaking them so when Jesus when Jesus comes again we will not be held accountable but we would have already been forgiven of all these sins if we are living in the judgment or what manner of persons we ought to be and that answer can you can look it up in second peter 3 and verse 11 which says that we ought to be in all holy conversation and godly living friends when we speak what do we talk about when others look on us what do they see but I want to read a text for us that is found in Romans chapter 13. Romans chapter 13 and verse 11 and 12. It says, And that knowing the time, and what? And that knowing the time, it is high time to awake out of sleep, for now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. The night is far spent. The day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. Friends, sleep is a state of unconsciousness. Some of us as Christians, we go to church. We are wide awake, but yet still 
fast asleep. We are wide awake but fast asleep because we are unconscious of the times in which we are living in. Friends, we are living in the judgment hour. It is very serious because on the Day of Atonement, when that one sacrifice was offered, and whosoever did not confess their sin, they would have dropped dead at this very same time. But friends, Revelation 22 tells us, let me read that text. Revelation 22 and verse 11 says that, that He that is unjust, let him be unjust still. And he which is filthy, let him be filthy still. And he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. And he that is holy, let him be holy still. One of these days time will run out and when this verdict is passed if we are found unrighteous filthy we can never change but thank God if we are found righteous and holy we will be saved is the clock still ticking on the wall when others look at the walls of the, our lives what are they seeing? What are our lives reflecting? One of these days, the probationary clock will stop ticking and then mercy door will close. Belshazzar was weighed in the balance and found wanting. Lot's wife rather living in Sodom than living with God and she looked back and became a pillar of salt. Hezekiah showed treasures to the people when he should have testified of the power of God. St. John 12 and verse 32 says, And I, if I be lifted up from the earth, will draw all men unto me. It is a time for us as Christians to be lifting up Jesus. And that is why the songwriter says, Lift up the trumpet and loud let it ring. Jesus is coming again. Friends, let us lift up Jesus. When Jesus comes again, you will find people like Belshazzar partying instead of praying. When Jesus comes again, you will find people like Lot's wife looking back instead of looking forward. When Jesus comes again, he will find people like Hezekiah showing off and test instead of testifying of God's goodness. But today I am happy to let somebody know when Jesus comes again, he will find people like Job praising God instead of swearing. He will find people like the three Hebrew boys standing on the promises instead of bowing to images. He will find when Jesus comes again, he will find people like Noah, a faithful preacher instead of one who dilutes the word of God. Friends, when Jesus comes again, how will he find you? The story is told of a man who would visit a series of meetings one of our pastors had in a different country. And every night he would walk to the altar and the call was made he would not accept and so the time came for the crusade to come to an end and when it came to an end the man went to the pastor and said pastor if you had gone for one more week you would have got me and so pastor met with the crusade team and he told them what the man said and they decided to go on an extra week and that's what they did and after the week was completed, the man said, Pastor, what you say is true, but I'm just not ready to give my life to Jesus. When you come again to my era, I will accept him. And so the time came for Pastor to leave. And he left that era. When 